representatives of the Buddhist clergy, including Deputy Chief Prelate of the Amagaha Pitya sect of the Amarapura chapter, Venerable Dr. Madam Pagam Asajiti Satera, and Chief Prelate of Northern and Eastern Provinces of Siam sect of the Malbatha chapter, Venerable Kitalagama Hema Saratera, and members of the Global Tamil Forum called on President Ranil Vikramasinghe and held discussions last evening. During discussions, the Joint Himalayan Declaration, a collaborative effort between the Global Tamil Forum and the Buddhist delegation, which advocates for a pluralistic Sri Lanka that actively promotes the well-being of all its communities, was presented to the head of state. Then, in December, the OCC Official Creditors Committee, Rasmunaham, after Naya Daraga Tehaki Naya Tehno Akila Prakash Karam, Itruhenne Udgali Ka Naya Karuan Samaga Saakacha Karan Na Pamanne. Then, the after that, was that you know, now Ratak Khadan, now Arthika Khadan. We can't run with the old model anymore. So unless we have unity and stability, you can't have economy. That's the first part. So politically, we have to a large extent been, the questions have been the ethnic issue and the economic issue, how much the government should control. Now both has been resolved by events. My idea is to hold elections for the presidency next year, as said in the constitution, followed by parliamentary elections and then followed by provincial council elections. I think these elections would then enable us to look at amending or drafting a new constitution which puts all this into place. So the mandate should be there and from now we must prepare our grounds as to what should be done. The constitution provides for devolution of power while sovereignty is all, which is correct because in my view we are all Sri Lankans and whatever other divisions are, when it comes to cricket again we become Sri Lankan. Other than that we have to look at ourselves but at the same time I don't think we need to have everything handled by Colombo. What we can give to the people and what we can release from the government, we were released. With Tamils representing North and the East, we've had a round of discussions. I'm calling them up, meeting them again on the 13th. I feel we are making progress on all issues. In this declaration, we have kind of captured the key issues that face Sri Lanka as a framework. What we plan to do is to create national conversation, national discussion between people to people at all levels without party affiliation. So to make it very clear and be transparent, we have also seek meetings with the party leaders in addition to meeting all religious groups when we are here. My support is there for your venture. Your first, it's good that you are going in and meeting with all the political party leaders. I think that's a dialogue that you all have to keep up. And outside the political parties, there will be other organizations also which want to be heard. I think you should do that. As far as I am concerned, the support is there. Only I have to decide what is the appropriate time to make a statement. It may be better for you all first to go and speak to them. And let us get this process so by January or February we can have something concrete.